Money is a powerful force. We work for it, save it, spend it, use it to satisfy our earthside longings, and then wish we had more. Aware of its distracting danger, Jesus taught more about money than any other topic. And as far as we know, he never took an offering for himself. Clearly, he didn't teach about giving to fill his own pockets. Instead, Jesus warned us that trusting in wealth and using it to gain power clogs our spiritual arteries more readily than most other impediments to spiritual development. In telling the story of the rich fool, he shamed his listeners for not being rich toward God, indicating that God has a far different definition of wealth than most of us. So what does it mean to be rich toward God? Paul tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17, that those who are rich should not be conceited about their wealth, nor to trust in uncertain riches. Rather, we're to be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share. Interesting. God measures wealth by the quality of our lives and our generous disbursement of wealth to bless others. Not exactly Wall Street insider talk, but great advice for those of us who think our security and reputation are tied up in the size of our bank account. Riches are a blessing only to those who make them a blessing to others.